In this lesson, we'll get started working on our character's plaid skirt. All right, fantastic. So I've gone ahead and finished up that second boot down here, and we're ready to go ahead and get started working on this skirt. Now, if you're not familiar with the term plaid, hopefully you are, let me show you kind of a reference here. Now, I'm not going to be able to include this particular image in the reference files folder for you, for you because I just got this off of a, an internet image search. But this is what a plaid skirt looks like. So um, looking here at this this texture, this pattern, there's some things that I'm not really going to try and reach for. Obviously, these little white stripes that go through it, and maybe even these yellow stripes, we're going to omit those. We're just going to kind of worry about the green and the reds. So, um, But I want you to notice here how the green stripes they're very dark everywhere except for the spot where they uh, where they intersect another big green stripe. So in those areas, it's a very light green, very saturated green, um, but everywhere else the green is rather dark. So this is kind of what we're going to use for reference in thinking about this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this over to another monitor, and we're going to go ahead and get started here. So uh, let's come in here, and first things first, we'll go ahead and create a new layer. So I want this to be underneath our shirt. So I'm going to come down and select my skin, flick up to create a new layer, and we'll just flick to the right to go ahead and rename that. We'll just call this skirt. There we go. Fantastic. So um, I've gone ahead and pulled out some colors here. Now, looking here at my greens, I've gone ahead and pulled out this particular green. This is what we're going to start with, and, and I'm not even going to try and say that, but um, notice here that this green is kind of a, me a medium green. It's not real, real dark, but it's also not really light. It's also fairly saturated. So um, if we were to come in here and uh, just kind of test that out with our medium broad nib, you can see here that even after I go over that several times, we're still getting a fairly middle of the ground green. So um, this is the first thing we're going to do. We're going to start with the stripes here. So um, now in thinking about the stripes, this is going to go sort of like this around this skirt. So this is something that's fairly important to make it believably uh, a pattern that wraps around her as opposed to just a flat pattern that's been laid on top of her. So we need to make sure that we're following the contours of the skirt itself. So let me go ahead and undo back a couple times and I'm actually going to rotate my canvas to where she's almost upside down here. And we'll kind of zoom in. Now, just as a rough plan of action, we're going to go ahead and do maybe like three stripes, kind of like the ones I just uh, had drawn really roughly. And then we'll do a stripe down each one of these pleats here. So um, let's go ahead and start with kind of these horizontal stripes. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge my brush here a bit. Not quite that big, but we'll start with that right there. And thinking about this, we need to follow the curvatures of each one of these pleats. So you can kind of see what the curvature is doing down here. So we'll come sort of in like so. Now, I'm just going to kind of roughly draw these in first, but I'll probably come back in and over these. But um, let me go ahead and grab my eraser because this stripe will disappear into this pleat and it'll probably come out a little bit up of above that. So uh, we'll come in and do another stripe or another section of the stripe that goes something like that. Now we can always come in and clean this little area up right here if we want to. Um, I'm going to just try and kind of stay on this curved path here. So uh, we'll do our best to maintain that. Kind of envisioning what this would look like in uh, 3D space. Kind of a, you can see here I'm kind of bulging out on some of the pleats, and then there's some kind of a dip. And look, following this curvature down here. Um, now this next pleat is starting to be the place where it disappears, kind of around her sides. So um, here I'm going to kind of start right about here. And we'll erase that, kind of do the same thing here, and erase, and all right, great. So that's that's pretty much close enough as far as this pleat goes. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to redraw this last little section here because I want this to go a little bit further around. 
All right, great. We can always come in here and sort of clean up the edges, just like we've been doing so far in this course. So we've got the first stripe drawn. Let's go ahead and pull in yet another stripe here. Actually, looking at this one here, and I'm thinking I want to redraw that. So we're going to come in sort of like so. There we go. That's looking a little bit better to me. I wanted it to be a little bit higher on her hip. So um, we can come in here and start thinking about maybe this next stripe here. Maybe we'll put this next stripe right about here. And just come in and start drawing these little sections of the stripe. Now, looking at this one, I want to redraw this section here. Now, ultimately, I'd really like these stripes to be thicker than this, but once I have them in place, it won't be that hard to come in and, and make them a little thicker. So we'll come in and just kind of continue this stripe. Sort of like that. And we'll come up here, do sort of the same deal. And I'm just kind of rotating my canvas around. Start to bring that stripe up. Looking at kind of the distance between the two stripes. Making it believable that it's kind of disappearing and wrapping around her uh, cylindrical body. And we'll do something like that. All right, fantastic. So uh, let's go ahead and get that last stripe in here. Now this last stripe is going to be fairly close to the hem, so I probably want to think about kind of the distance we used here and use that as a point of reference. Just kind of come in sort of like so. And go ahead and bring, start bringing this around. This is going to dip in a little bit. There we go. And again, just swapping back and forth between my last two brushes which happened to be an eraser and this uh, this medium broad nib. And starting to kind of come up a little bit here. And we'll just kind of bring that out just sort of like that. All right, great. So uh, just clean that one up right there just a little bit more. All right, great. So let's go ahead and zoom out and make sure that we're happy with kind of the position of the stripes that we've laid out initially because things are only going to get more difficult um, the further we go. So um, if your perspective looks off or it's not looking quite right for whatever reason and you want to redraw a stripe, this would be a good time to pause the video and do that. Uh, I'm pretty happy with mine overall. Um, let's come in here and start doing the same thing for our vertical stripes. So they're going to kind of come over this little hump right here. And then down, sort of like that. And again, I'm going to come in probably in between lessons and, and begin to thicken these up a bit. Um, but if there's kind of this bulge right here for maybe her waistband, think about that as we're drawing these. All right, that's a pretty good placement there. Come in and hit one right about here. And kind of think about what her skirt is doing. It's kind of shifting down here at the hem to the left. So I'm going to bring my stripes to the left a little bit. 
start to kind of turn the corner, so to speak, as far as the curvature around uh, the waistband. And there we go. We'll get a nice big curve right there. And we'll go ahead and continue our way around here, making sure that we are maybe even getting a little thinner as we're turning away from the camera. Let's go ahead and zoom in and shrink my brush down one more time. Go ahead and bring that one down. And now these last couple are going to be a little difficult to see because they're going to not be visible up near her waistband. But we can bring it around sort of like that. And then maybe bring another one down. Kind of like so. All right. So we've got kind of the initial base drawn for these stripes. Uh, now, in between lessons, like I said before, I'm going to come in here and begin to thicken these up some. So uh, thinking about kind of why we're doing certain things, like um, cleaning that up right there. But let me go ahead and make my marker a little bit larger. And I'll come in here and really just start laying down the marker nice and thick on this particular stripe, just to kind of show you what I mean. I want to keep it fairly opaque um, and, and try and create as sharp of an edge along the stripes as possible so that we don't have very much transparency out there. Um, that way that when we come in and start layering marker on top of this, it's going to uh, not start to blend together and not fade on us. So um, I'm going to come in and like I said before, I'm going to make these stripes a bit thicker so they're uh, kind of consistent with the reference image I showed you. Go ahead and do the same thing in between lessons. And when you come back in the next lesson, we'll begin thinking about applying red on top of this green.